In the 1990s, there was growing public awareness of child abuse in Israel, and the number of children identified as at risk grew dramatically. In 1998, the Israeli government, JDC, and UJA Federation of New York rose to the challenge, joining forces to create Ashalim. Its goal was to develop and implement new approaches and programs that could help the service system confront this increasingly important issue facing Israeli society. When I came to JDC Israel, the subject of children at risk and their families was a very strong uh, subject on the social agenda of Israel. In the last 10 years, Ashalim has become the most influential organization in Israel regarding children and youth at risk. Ashalim established hundreds of programs throughout Israel. The Merchav program is just one example. This program inspires enormous change among children at risk in their schools. Merchav's multidisciplinary team approach promotes students' educational success as well as their emotional well-being. Just five years ago, our school was on the verge of closing down. Many of our students are at risk with multiple problems and from families that lack resources. Not all children are born with a silver spoon in their mouths. If I had to pay for enrichment for my children, I would not be able to put food on the table. Many children were hanging out in the street. It was hard for them to learn. But now, with the help in school, they're succeeding. The main concept is for the school to provide everything that a child might need catered to his or her specific needs through remedial help, different therapies, on-site psychologists, enrichment activities, a hot lunch, and working with parents. Cooperation between education and welfare services has generated a more focused and in-depth way of breaking the cycle of risk in schools. Over the years, Ashalim developed many successful projects that are now being replicated. Ashalim has had a tremendous impact on social services in Israel. Ashalim is uniquely positioned to look at the multiple and varied needs of Israel's next generation, from birth to age 18, from all backgrounds and cultures in society. One of the unique models that Ashalim developed to fill a gap in social services is Adi. Two centers care for over 100 teenage girls each year. They suffer from emotional trauma, physical, and sexual abuse. Adi is a day center for girls in distress, detached from normative settings and on the streets, constantly involved in risky situations. Before I was referred to Adi, I was hospitalized for an eating disorder. Adi opened new options for me. This is a warm place for us. There are always hot meals and activities. I was totally irresponsible before I came here. I did not get up on time for school and used to wake up whenever I felt like it. Here, they make sure that I go to school each day. They call in the morning to wake me up, and after school I come here. They help me with anything I need. They drive me to improve myself, and they cover me with warmth and love. They give us tools and attention. They make my dreams come true. I was honored to be serving as CEO of UJ Federation when JDC took the lead to say, let's come together to pioneer new approaches to care for children in Israel. And that was at the foundation of bringing together UJ Federation, JDC, and various ministries of Israel. There are 350,000 children and youth at risk in Israel. This number is difficult to grasp, but the unfortunate reality is that one of every six is a child at risk. These vulnerable children and youth are additionally affected by financial and security crises, and so efforts on their behalf are even more significant during challenging times. We need our partners to come with us together with two main issues that we need to tackle as a government. One is to expand our services and our programs to cover as many more children and youth which are at risk in Israel. And the second is to enhance and improve the services and the programs. This unique partnership has to build on what it did in the past to expand and to carry out many of the programs for the benefit of children in Israel for the years to come. At Ashalim, we know our work is not complete. 
There are still many thousands of children and youth at risk in Israel whose lives can be changed for the better. We will continue to work on their behalf. They are our future.